A really great dish for me has to have two things, simplicity and deliciousness. So you can spend more time with your friends and family and less time tied down to the kitchen. I'm Chef Jeremy Ford and the older I get, the more simple I like my cuisine. I'm going to show you a few upgrades that will elevate and ease your weeknight dinners. So this dish is so meaningful to me because my other half made it on our first date and now it's become this collaboration dish that is just so delicious and so simple that anybody can do it. Enjoy. So this bucatini pasta with summer asparagus pesto is literally my favorite thing in the whole world to cook. It's quick, it's easy, and I'm gonna start by trimming the asparagus for our pesto. We're gonna start by cleaning our asparagus and getting ready to roast them in the oven. So we're gonna take the asparagus and just cut them into smaller inch and a half pieces so they're easy to cook and a little bit faster for you as well. We go onto a tray. So by adding the olive oil, we're actually gonna be able to caramelize the asparagus and get some of that really nutty flavor we're looking for. Okay, we'll shake it around a little bit. We need to also season this with salt and black pepper. So basically, we set the oven to 550 degrees on broiler setting. So now that the asparagus is in the oven, what we're looking for is a really kind of dark brown caramelization on the asparagus, which is really gonna give it a nutty flavor. It's gonna make your asparagus pesto amazing. So here's the three herbs we're gonna be using in our asparagus pesto. We have some mint, basil, and parsley. So we're just gonna tear some mint. Make sure you tear it up into smaller pieces so the actual blade will start to catch and puree the herbs. So now we're gonna add in our Thai chili. So this is one of the hottest chilies out there, so you have to be extremely careful how much you add in, especially when you're adding the seeds. I'll cut the chili right down in half. I'll just take the edge of my knife, scrape them out. So now we'll take our Thai chili, a little bit of garlic. So we're gonna use two cloves of garlic for this recipe. Smash it, peel off the skin. And these you can just rough chop again because really it's gonna be pureed and blended and super, super smooth, okay? Now we're gonna add in our olive oil. Eh, it's about a half a cup, but I really like olive oil, so I add a little bit more. Always make sure you season. The salt is the most important thing that's gonna bring out all of those flavors, and our asparagus is probably ready, so let's go check. Looking outstanding. So look how amazing the asparagus came out like this. As you can see, we've gotten the caramelization, and it's also cooked through enough to where we can put it in the blender, and it'll be really, really smooth because it's cooked properly. And you can let all of the olive oil, everything is welcome. Oh wow, that smells absolutely amazing. We're gonna ice bath, and this is gonna preserve the color because if this were to sit out room temperature, it would turn brown very, very quickly. And while we're cooling this, we can move on to the next step. For pasta water, I like to add a little bit of olive oil and salt. We can go ahead and add in our bucatini pasta. So now that the pasta's in, it's super important that you start to stir it immediately as it goes in. And we're gonna cook this pasta for about eight to 12 minutes or until al dente, which means a little bit of a bite. So now we're gonna go into making our, kind of like a fried garlic sauce, if you will. Once our garlic is all sliced and ready to be fried, we also need to remember that we have to keep continuously stirring our pasta so it doesn't stick together. Look at that, beautiful. So, jalapeno. And we're just gonna cut these in little rounds. Turn the heat up. And we're gonna put our garlic in. So now that the garlic is frying, we're gonna add in saffron. Saffron are these little threads that give it this beautiful aroma and floral note to the dish. We're gonna add in our sliced jalapeno. And remember, if you don't want it spicy, just take the seeds out. 
We're gonna let that kind of mix together. The chilies are gonna release this amazing aroma. We're gonna go ahead and add our pasta to our garlic. And it's okay if a little bit of water gets in there because this water is actually pretty tasty stuff that gets discarded typically. Now we're just kind of tossing all of the ingredients together. And this is the most important and my favorite part of the entire dish. We're gonna take some of the herbs that we left over from our pesto, scatter it into your dish, a little bit of basil, same thing. So now everything is in. We have our herbs, chilies, Basically, we're gonna hold the spoon still at a, about a 45 degree angle, put it in and start to slowly rotate the bowl. Here's a really cool tip to make your pasta look even more fancy. So basically what we do is we have a three to four ounce ladle and a pair of tongs. So we go inside the ladle, slowly start to turn it. Turn, turn, pick it up. Go right into your bowl and just let it release. Get a little hand if you want. And wow. Now we're gonna grab some fresh ricotta cheese right on top. And we're gonna take our spoon and kind of dollop a little spot in the middle. So now we're gonna fill this up with olive oil. And Parmesan. And one of my favorite tools is a fine cheese grater. And we're not gonna go cheap. Right there. And one last step. Start here and roll down the lemon and rotate the lemon. So here we have our bucatini with asparagus, pesto, and fresh herbs. I have got to try this. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. You know, when you taste this dish, you get so many different layers of flavor. It's almost like creating a creamy dish without all of the calories. Really, really delicious, and it literally took us less than 30 minutes to make this beautiful, elegant meal. Enjoy.